So I had to wait till I got out of high school. Then I, I got a job, saved my money, and I got an old uh, Schweitzer 119 glider, single place training type glider. $160 paid for it. It was uh, almost a basket case. The fuselage was all stripped down, but it was in very good condition. One wing had some damage to it, the other wing was completely demolished. So I, I copied whatever was on that one wing so I could build the second wing. And I worked at it for a year. And I finally com completed it. Had all the pieces in the barn. My folks decided to take off on vacation. And I'm staying home. So when they were gone, the next day I called my high school buddy and I said, come on over to the house. I said, you're going to do some towing for me. So he took the uh, glider, carried it across the road into a big field, assembled it, and then took it up on the uh, clear spot in the field, and then he hooked my car to it with about 200 feet of rope. So I made my first solo flight on the first try. So I got three, I jumped before I knew we were three, four feet in the air, and I, I pulled the release knob, and, uh, and it stalled right in. You know, onto the ground, a little bit of bump, but nothing, no problem. But I was really excited. I said, let's do it again. So this time I had a little more airspeed and I, I glided in. So by the end of the day, we were going up to uh, oh, 50 to 100 foot altitudes, making straight glides. Uh, okay, so uh, we did that for a few days. I tied it down overnight in the field. Lo and behold, my folks came home two days early from vacation. <coughs> my mother came running to the barn, looked in there, and the salt was gone, ran into the house. And, Is that your glider out there in the field? I said, yeah, that's mine. Have you been flying it? Yes. <laughs> I have. So I got a little trouble over that. So I, I took it apart, brought it home, and... Uh, then a few weeks, eight weekends later, we took it out to the airport and put it together again, set it in a hangar. Uh, so the airport manager said I should take some lessons, flying lessons. So he got his Piper Cub out. And I took, uh, I had about five or six hours of training in a Piper Cub. Felt much better about it. So then we started flying the glider again. And I, I bought another 400 feet of rope. So I had about 600 feet of rope all together now. And then we started doing longer toes. So pretty soon I found myself at about 400 feet. And I had to make my first turn in the glider. So I was a bit scared because I was flying away from the airport. I mean, tried to turn, worked out great. As soon as I turned down on a downwind leg, I could look back and there was a runway. And the fear was gone. I knew I could, could land it, no trouble. And I did. Came in very nicely, landed, made a nice landing. Uh, by the end of the day, I think I made about eight or nine of those flights. Go out and do a little more flying. And I called my friend over and we started towing, doing auto towing. On once one particular flight, it was about a third one of the day, I towed up to 600 feet, released. Made a left turn, come back over the hangars, and just as I passed over the hangars, I picked up a thermal. I pulled into a steep bank, pulled back on a stick, and came on around. And just, just, just completing the first turn, when I felt the left wing sort of slump down on me. There's nothing unusual about that little gust, so I put in a little... Uh, aileron to correct for it to pick the wing up. It slumped down further. Now, that's strange. And so now I pushed the, the stick all the way over, give it full opposite control to recover. And it didn't. And it, it just started to uh, wrap around into a tight, very tight turn. The nose didn't fall through like it would if you were in a spin. But the, the uh, rate of turn increased faster and faster, and pretty soon all I could see was a blur of the ground going by and the horizon right on the level. 
So I, I was actually fell into a flat spin. Uh, and later on, I discovered that the aircraft was extremely tail heavy. And when you have a real heavy tail, a tail heavy ship, it goes into a, a flat spin, which recovery is almost impossible. So there I spun round and round and round, and uh, I couldn't get it out. And the next thing I knew, everything was dead quiet. And I heard somebody running up to me. I was on the ground. And he said to me, uh, are you all right? And I said, what happened? What did I do wrong? And of that I heard the steps run away. I was in shock and I was very tired. It was like somebody tried to wake me up in the middle of the night. I just didn't have any energy to even open my eyes, even try, even think. And then, uh, then I must have, I don't re remember for a while, and I remember being lifted out of the aircraft and, and had extreme pains in my back. And I, was, I kept crying out, my back, my back. And, they, and I was laid down in the grass. Then I was all right for a while, then I heard an ambulance come. And they picked me up and put me in the ambulance. So that was uh, that they operated my fractured my back and I had some uh, head injuries, almost lost my eye. But I laid in the hospital for a month, recovering from this. I had lots of time to think of uh, the accident. What I, what did I do wrong, and what could I do to correct the situation?